Hey, it's Noah here. I got this new 20-tone guitar uh, a week or two ago now, and I wanted to share a few of the things that is fun about it. First, because it's a multiple of five, we have some similar things to uh, if it had 15 tones per octave, so you get this five-tone equal scale again. <laughs> Because of this we get this uh, symmetrical kind of scale with all the open strings. So essentially the open strings are tuned to the same as they would be with 15 equal. And people often ask me, oh how do you tune your guitar? It has the different notes. How do you tune something like this? And one way to think of it is some of them will actually have the same tuning um, on the open string. So one example will be uh, 20 tone or 15 tone and not to say that that's the only way that you can tune those but for me that's a basic way of that whereas a 19 tone guitar is going to be tuned completely differently but maybe if you made the quarter tone version of that um, to have 38 tones per octave uh, likely you would do the same open string pattern as that so now um, um, one thing in this tuning is you almost get a mix of a few different types of tunings and you start to get carryover aspects. And one way that this one's actually a little bit like 17 equal is now we actually have uh, the three different types of thirds again. We get kind of a, a big third, a super major third, we get this uh, neutral third and we get this kind of sub minor third. And At first when we're starting to get um, more notes per octave and we're doing equal divisions of the octave going up from 12, we have uh, one of the big things is how many thirds we have in a tuning and then also how many notes work in the range of the seconds or the sevenths. And we know that like the seconds and the sevenths are kind of the opposites of each other. Um, same with like the thirds and the sixes. So uh, when you're in 15 equal, you're getting um, it's still a major and a minor third, but you're getting three types of seconds. You're getting kind of a big one, a middle one, and a small one. Same with the sevenths. Uh, when you get to 17 equal, you're getting the three types of sevenths also, but then you're also getting the three types uh, of third. Um, so this one, you're getting the three types of third, but so we also get a few different types of second here. We get the same big second as in uh, 15 EDO, which is at the 240 cents, so somewhere around being the 7, 6, 8, 7 as a just interval. We have this one that's a bit smaller. This one's closer to 180 cents, um, a lot closer to the 200 cent major second that we get in 12. We get one of 120 cents and one of 60 cents. So this one's just a bit sharp of a quarter tone. In addition to the seconds, we also have a few different types of sevenths. So we still get the harmonic seventh being our lowest one, close to the 7-4, same 7-4 as we get in 15 because it's part of the 5 equal scale. So this one it becomes kind of hard to to name these once we start to get this many different ones because once we get the harmonic seventh, we get the kind of minor seventh, we get kind of a middle seventh, we get a major seventh and the octave. This could also be a major seventh, this could be a super major seventh, this could be an octave. Um, and sometimes these intervals are best described on their context in a song.
Thanks for listening. Please subscribe. Please check out the Patreon page and support if you want. I'm going to keep making more of these videos and some other tunings.